Good day everyone! Sa araw na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang mga iba't ibang uri ng modify tools sa Genacad application. Ang mga modify tools ay makikita natin sa modify tool icon. Itong color green na circle. Mula sa itaas, meron tayong makikita ang explode command, jump fear, fillet, join, break, break at, stretch, lengthen, offset, extend, at trim. Lahat ng mga ito ay tinatawag na modify tools command. So una ay ang chamfer command. Ang chamfer it is bevels or chamfers the edges of two 2D objects in AutoCAD. Chamfer is commonly used to change the intersection of two lines or planes by adding an angled line. Sa chamfer command ay hahanapan tayo ng first chamfer distance at saka second chamfer distance. Sa example na ito, ang aking first chamfer distance ay ito, which is 5 mm, at ang second chamfer distance ay ito, which is 8 mm. So, pwede rin itong first chamfer distance at saka pwede rin itong second chamfer distance, depende na sa inyo. So, paano gamitin ang chamfer? Simply, tap the modify tool icon and select chamfer command. Pagkatapos ay select itong triple dots na makikita sa upper right corner ng screen at piliin ang distance. So, ang ating first chamfer distance ay 5mm. Tap itong check. At ang ating second chamfer distance ay 8mm. Tap check. Select first line. So, ito yung first line natin or first chamfer distance at ito yung second line or second chamfer distance. So, ganyan lang kadali gamitin ang chamfer command. Next, we have fillet or fillet command. Fillet rounds or fillet the edges of two 2D objects. So, ito yung example ng fillet. So, sa paggamit ng fillet, simply tap the modify tool icon and select fillet. Then, tap the triple dots na makikita sa upper right corner ng screen at piliin ang radius. So, for example, we have 8mm na radius. Tap lang itong check at select first line. Halimbawa, ito yung first line at saka ito yung second line. So, ganyan lang kadali gamitin ang fillet command. Next, we have trim command. Trim, used to remove the objects which meets the edges of other objects. It is used to remove extra line or extra parts of an object. So, gagawa tayo ng triangle at trim natin itong mga unnecessary lines. So, simply tap this modify tool icon and select trim command. Select object to trim. So, i-select natin itong mga unnecessary line. So, ganyan lang kadali ang trim command. Next, we have the offset command. So, offset, it is used to create parallel lines, concentric circles, and parallel curves. We can op offset any object to a point or a specified distance. So, we can create as many parallel lines and curves with the offset command. So, sa example na ito, ay gagawa ako ng parallel line doon sa loob ng box at ito yung magiging baseline natin. So, paano gamitin? Tap again the modify tool icon and select offset. Specify offset distance. Halimbawa, ang ating offset distance is 10 mm. Tap lang itong check. At select object to offset. Dahil ito ang ating baseline, ito yung select natin. At saka specify point on side. So, itatap ko sa loob ng box. So, ito na yung uh, parallel lines natin. So, mula dito hanggang dito, ang offset distance is 10 mm sa panghalimbawa gagawa pa rin ako ng parallel line doon sa loob ng box gamit ang baseline na ito 
na may distance na 5 mm. So select uh, modify tool icon, select offset. And then this time is 5 mm ang ating offset distance. Tap check. Select object to offset. So select this line and specify point on side doon naman sa loob ng box natin ito tap. So ito na. So mula dito hanggang dito ay meron tayong offset distance na 5 mm. Sa panghalimbawa, gagawa tayo ng parallel line sa labas naman ng box gamit ang baseline na ito. So again, tap the modify tool icon and then select the offset command. For example, we have uh, 8 mm distance. Tap check. Select object to offset. So, select this line. And sel tap natin sa labas ng box. So, ayan. So, ganyan lang kadali gamitin ang offset command. So, next command, we have join. Join command. So, join command, it is used to join the objects end-to-end -to, -end to create a single objects. So, sa example na ito, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 objects. So, para maging one object lang yan, ay gagamitin natin ng join command. So, simply tap modify tool icon again and then select join. So, select objects to join. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then, tap check. So, naging 1 object na lang itong drawing. So, ang panghuling uh, modify tool command ay ang explode. Explode command. So, explode command breaks a compound object into its component objects. Explode a compound object when you, when you want to modify its component separately. So, gagamitin natin itong halimbawa. So, sa paggamit ng explode command, simply uh, tap this modify tool icon and then select explode. And then select objects to explode. Pagkatapos, tap check. So, ito na yung resulta ng explode command. So, ganyan lang kadali gamitin ang explode.